One day, an old lady got drenched in heavy rain after a sudden outpour. She decided to seek shelter at a famous cafe, only to be kicked out by the restaurant manager. What happens next? Stuns the arrogant employee. Before the video starts, please subscribe to join our community. Your support helps us grow and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Linda Myers was on her way to dinner when heavy rain suddenly started pouring. She didn't have an umbrella with her, so her well-kept hair was suddenly damp and all over her face. Her blouse and jacket looked worn out after they got soaked as well. The closest establishment to her at the time was a famous café that rich and famous people would frequent as she got to the entrance, she was suddenly stopped by the porter. Ma'am, this is an exclusive cafe, you need a reservation to enter. He started before looking at her from head to toe. It seems you can hardly afford to dine in here too, he muttered. Offended by the rude remark, she asked the porter to call the restaurant manager, but instead of letting her in, the manager echoed the porter's sentiments and asked her to leave. Ma'am, I'm currently hosting over a hundred people inside. Let's not waste our time here, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. The manager, whose nameplate said Simon, told Linda, I just need a place to stay until the rain dies down. I'll leave an order, she insisted. I can't let you go in looking like that. You're going to scare away all of our guests. Simon shook his head. At that, the woman left, trying to find another place to wait. The next day, when Simon got to work, the cafe owner was already there. He immediately called Simon over, Today is a very special day. We have an important guest coming, my friend and his wife. They're potential buyers of this cafe. That said everything must be in top shape. Simon oriented the waiters on what to do that day, making sure everything was well prepared for their VIP guest's arrival that evening. The owner called Simon to their table. Let me introduce you to our manager. He is an excellent part of our team. He knows his job and is very kind sensitive sympathetic and helpful the owner said at that the woman turned to him with a smile on her face very nice indeed i can see that he is exactly the way you described him to be the woman who turned out to be linda said the manager couldn't hide the horrified look on his face after realizing the woman was the person he rudely shut out the night before after seeing the look on his face linda turned back to the cafe owner you have a great restaurant and such endearing staff my husband and I are happy to buy the cafe, she said. The next day, Linda and her husband went straight to work. They wanted to observe how the cafe operated on a daily basis and get to know their new staff members. When Linda saw Simon, she bore him some bad news. Simon, my husband and I have made the decision to demote you as a waiter. We don't think the way you treated me the other night is any way to treat a customer, she explained. Immediately, Simon was given an apron and a tray, and he started working as a waiter. He was humiliated, but he didn't want to lose his job entirely. A couple of days later, a poor woman entered the cafe. She sat at a table and ordered a sandwich and hot tea. After she finished her meal, Simon handed her the bill. Oh dear, the old woman said as she looked through her purse. I must have forgotten my wallet at home. I am so sorry. I can wash the dishes or clean the restaurant, anything, so that I could repay you, she said. Simon shook his head. Don't worry, ma'am, I will pay for your tab this time around, he said with a smile. The woman proceeded to thank Simon, to which he replied, It's no problem. People should help each other out. A couple of days ago, the new owner of this restaurant gave me a second chance because she is a kind person. I want to be like her. After all, I believe in karma. I think you will become a manager again, the woman replied. Simon was confused as to how the woman knew about his demotion. At that moment, Linda approached the table. This woman here is my friend. I wanted to test you and see whether or not you've learned your lesson. I'm happy to know that you've passed the test. You can return to your managerial duties effective immediately, Linda said, giving him a tap on the back. Simon was delighted he had never seen such kindness in anybody. And he was grateful that Linda gave him yet another chance to do well at his job. Since that day, Simon went to work with a smile on his face. He loved his job. And it was all thanks to the boost of confidence the new cafe owners gave him he would patiently tend to his staff and the customers. And it led the cafe to become even more successful. What can we learn from this story? We should not judge others by their outward appearance. The porter and Simon were quick to judge Linda for how she looked. 
not knowing she'd end up owning the business they worked in. People deserve a second chance. Linda was nice enough to give Simone a second chance in knowing he enjoyed his work.